Part 2, The Seraph and the Children of Israel In the heart of the wilderness, the children of Israel faced not just physical challenges, but spiritual ones. A pivotal moment in their journey was the encounter with serpents, leading to a profound divine intervention. This story, found in Numbers 21 4-9, reveals deep layers of meaning about faith, judgment, and salvation. The Israelites, growing impatient on their journey, spoke against God and Moses. In response, the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and many were bitten and died. This plague of serpents was not just a physical affliction but a spiritual symbol of the consequences of turning away from God. The people, recognizing their sin, came to Moses and asked for deliverance. Moses, interceding for the people, was instructed by God to make a bronze serpent and set it on a pole. Whoever was bitten and looked at the bronze serpent would live. This act of looking upon the bronze serpent to be healed symbolizes a deeper truth. It's a call to acknowledge one's sins and look to a symbol of God's provision for healing and salvation. This narrative is rich in symbolism. The serpent, often seen as a symbol of sin and evil, is here transformed into a symbol of salvation. The very thing that brought death becomes a means to life. This transformation is a powerful representation of God's ability to take what is cursed and turn it into a blessing. The bronze serpent also foreshadows the coming of Christ. Just as the serpent was lifted up in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life. This parallel, drawn in the New Testament, deepens our understanding of the bronze serpent, as a symbol of salvation. As we reflect on this story, we are invited to consider our own responses to God's call for repentance and faith. The story of the bronze serpent challenges us to look beyond our immediate circumstances and see the broader picture of God's redemptive plan. It's a reminder that in moments of sin and failure, God provides a way back to him.